قناة فلذاتنا سبحانك ربي يا رحمن يا من كرمت بني الإنسان وجعلت الأسرة تجمعنا وتقينا من لفح الحرمان إن قام الأب بتربية للروح وأيضا للأبدان وزرع الخير بأبناء وأسس ذياك البنيان فسيحصد من ذلك خيرا وسيهزم أجناد الشيطان ويؤسس بيتا للتقوى ويؤيد من رب منان ويعامل زوجا بالحسنى ويعمر بيتا بالإحسان قناة فلذاتنا ويحفظ للأخت محبة فالأخت كأنفاس الريحان ويشد بكف لأخيه كي يقف في وجه الطوفان أسرتنا يا نعمة ربي يا وردا أزهر في البستان يا قارب خير يحمينا إن عصفت أمواج الخلجان إن عاشت أسرتنا بشرع سنكون معا في بر أمان سنكون معا في بر أمان قناة فلذاتنا Talk to you about kids who lie too much. Do you have a kid who lies way too easily? I've encountered a lot of those kids in my therapy practice. And actually one of my children, who will go unmentioned, has a little bit of an issue with that as well. And I always find it kind of alarming when kids can lie super easily. Like they tell you something and it is completely convincing. I've had kids come in my practice like little kids, like five, six, seven, eight years old. And they'll spend the entire session telling me things about how many siblings they have or things that they've done or really bad things that have happened to them. And then I'll go and talk to the parent about it and they'll be like, um, no, he doesn't have any siblings or no, we never went to Hawaii. <laughs> and I'm like, oh my gosh, that we spent the entire session on that. You know, I've had people tell me, um, you know, all sorts of crazy things that are completely made up. So today I want to talk to you about how do you deal with that as a parent? Now, lots of times kids will lie to get out of trouble. Um, I brush my teeth. I, I did my homework already. And those are concerning and you want to deal with those as well. But I think also if your child, if your child is telling really big lies, like making up stories, I don't think that we should be calling them like tall tales or, you know, she just tells a lot of stories. No, you want to talk to your kids and, and call it what it is. It's lying. So enough of that. Let's talk about how you fix that behavior because that behavior is not cool. If you don't correct it now, they are going to grow up and become very good liars because every time a lie is told and it's believed, it's reinforced. And so that increases the likelihood that your child's going to lie more and it increases the likelihood that they're going to grow up to be a liar. And who wants to grow up to be a liar? So one approach that I take, which is very simple because all of my approaches, if you ever listen to my videos or go to my website, my approaches are really simplistic because I don't think you have to get fancy to, to parent well. So the thing that I do in my practice, and this is a, a good approach really for any age, it just depends on how uh, this would insult your teenager, but I use it for any age. I use it for my 13 year old, although she, she really doesn't have a lying issue. It's funny how some kids just naturally tend to lie and other kids don't as much. It's weird. Anyway, so what I do with kids in my practice, and I've done this at my, at my own house too, because I have one child that, like I said, likes to really not be forthcoming, is I do something called the truthometer. So with the truthometer, what it is, I explain to kids, I say, you know what, in life, you know, everybody has a number with you, like a one to 10. And so I draw it on the board. I was gonna draw it today for this video, but then I thought, you don't wanna see my drawings because they're just as bad as my singing. And so I will spare you both of those. 
but I draw on the board, like a whiteboard. I draw like a little diagram and I do, um, I do green, yellow, and red. And then I do 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Um, and you split it up into, you know, obviously the numbers. So 10 is like you are um, completely tr trustworthy. You're an honest person and everything you tell me, I believe. So you're a 10. And a one is like, I can't believe anything you say and all the numbers in between. And even really little kids, like five, get this uh, the concept. It's really simplistic. And so what I draw on my board, and you can draw at home for your kids, is um, I draw like a little slide that like goes around, um, and then I draw stairs to get back up. And I explain to kids, you know, it's very hard to be a 10 or to be high on the truth meter but it's very easy to go down. And so when you lie, you slide down really fast. But to get back up to those higher numbers, you have to climb. And that takes a lot of time and a lot of um, experiences where that person starts to gain trust with you again. And so I say to them, everybody has a number. You know, you have numbers, you don't even realize this, but you have numbers for everybody too. You know, and so then we start to go through it. Um, what number is your best friend? You know, and they'll be like a nine or a 10. What number is your mom? You know, and depending on the relationship with the parent, you know, a nine or a 10, or sometimes they'll say a three. She never does what she says she's going to do. And I say, you know, and parents have a number with you. I have a number with you. You have a number with me. And it's all based on experience. And so I tell, let's, we'll take my child for, for instance, you know, I say to my kids, you have a number and the number is not based on how much I love you. The number is based on how much what you say is true. And every time you lie to me, that number goes down. And every time you tell me the truth, that number starts to slowly go up. It goes up slower. So when you lie, it hits your number pretty hard. And this is a great thing. So I'll tell you how we do it in, in real life. Let's say my son hits my youngest daughter, because that happens quite a bit, and um, denial is bliss. So I'll, you know, she'll be like, he hit me. And then I'll be like, did you hit her? Which, by the way, you shouldn't do. If you know for a fact, if you see it, don't ask a child that lies, did you do it? Because you're basically giving them a little window to lie. Just say, I saw you hit her, here's the consequence. But unfortunately, most of the time when this is happening, I don't see it. And so I will make the parental error of saying, did you hit her? Although, I mean, I didn't see it, so I, I have no other option. And in the past, he would be like, I didn't hit her. I didn't do it. I don't know what she's talking about. But now that we've talked about the truth meter and what that is, all I have to do is give him a visual prompt. And so I'll go, and he knows I'm talking about his truth meter This is where his truth meter is. And I'll say it again. Did you hit her? And he knows what this means. And he wants to have a high number with me because I tell him that if his number is not high, I'm not gonna believe him even when he's telling the truth. And let's say his teacher says that he did something, but he tells me he didn't, I'm not gonna go to bat for him because his number is low. And I use that as an example with my kids. I say, you know, your 13 year old sister, if she tells me she didn't do something and the teacher is saying that she did it, I will email the teacher. I will go and talk to the teacher because I have got her back because she is a nine. Most people can't be a 10, right? So I'll say, I'm going to go to bat for her because she's not a liar. Her trustometer is super high with me. And you can call it a trustometer or a liometer, whatever you want, um, whatever works for you. Sometimes we call it a trustometer because it's about trust. So, so I will do this with him and then now he will correct it and he'll say, okay, I hit her. And then I'll be like, Oop! and he'll be like, did my trust meter go up? And I'll be like, it did actually, because you've been very truthful. And so your number is high. And then all my kids will pipe in, what number am I? What number am I? And so that's a great tool to constantly give your kid feedback, let them know where they are with your trust and to give them a visual prompt when you're questioning them so that they can be more forthcoming.